Hey, this is Kurt from Kabootech, and today we're going to do a feature spotlight on gesturing and multitasking with the BlackBerry Playbook. My full review of the Playbook is available now, but this is a closer look at what stood the Playbook apart for me. All gestures are performed by swiping in from outside the screen. Swiping from the bottom edge of the device upwards across a blank screen switches the device on. This is far more convenient than the ill-conceived placement of the power button. A swipe from the outside edge on the home screen reveals the system settings and intuitively, the opposite action closes it. To quickly jump between running applications, you take a swipe from the bottom edge while on the home screen to reveal the multitasking panel. This can be navigated left or right and a simple touch on an open app takes you in. A swipe from the left or right edge inwards flicks you quickly between applications as well, but this is less convenient than swiping from the bottom of screen in a running application and jumping back out to the multitasking panel where you can quickly access an application for instance, 10 down from where you are. I truly love this about the playbook. Swift, fluid actions that corresponded with how I instinctively wanted to interact with the screen. Shifting back to an Android-based tablet, I craved these actions, and it definitely felt better than using four fingers to perform similar tasks on the iPad. Applications occupy the entire screen beautifully on the BlackBerry playbook, with no other information available. Application-specific settings are revealed by swiping from the top edge of screen and a diagonal swipe across the screen from either top corner displays the time and system settings. The only thing lacking, being forced to hit that pesky power button to turn the screen off. So close. This has been Kurt from Kabootech. Catch you next time.